News from around the region and from around the state, this is a Florida Focus News Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus, I'm Emily Garan. A St. Pete vehicle theft gone wrong. A man sped through a stop sign this morning in a stolen Mustang. He struck an SUV and then crashed into a vacant house. The car thief, the SUV's driver and passenger were all hospitalized. No one is facing life-threatening injuries. A Hernando High School teacher is arrested for having sexual relations with a student. The Central High art teacher is accused of sexual relations with a 17-year-old. Valerie Valvo and the student told deputies it was consensual. They also admitted to using marijuana and drinking alcohol together. Valvo faces three counts of unlawful sexual activity with a minor and one count of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Tampa is growing in size and the real estate market is growing in dollars. Reporter Kayla Ewerts explains. Tampa is now ranked number five for metro area population growth nationwide. This is according to a report released today by the Census Bureau. More than 58,000 people moved to Tampa last year. A new report from Zillow says Tampa tops the nation in rising home values. Tampa has the fastest rising home prices among the 35 largest metro areas. The single family home is up 11.6% over the median home value of 2016. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Kayla Ewerts. You are one step closer to buying liquor in grocery stores. The Florida Senate passed the Whiskey to Wheaties bill today. It allows grocery stores to sell liquor without having a separate store. They will be able to shelf hard liquor next to beer and wine. Today is the day to celebrate your furry friend. Happy National Puppy Day! This holiday was created in 2006 to promote adoption and raise awareness about puppy mills. You can feel the love and adopt a puppy from your local shelter. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.